Yeah, I'm bad to the bone. I ain't sure what you been told. Yeah, I'm mad. You a clone. Sussy boy don't even have a sound of his own. What's up? This is Coach Taylor Statham of I Love Basketball TV. And today we got a special one for you. Kyrie Irving's six most deadly ankle-breaking moves. Let's get it. All this dirt on my skin. I just came here to win. Kyrie Irving is one of the most electrifying guards in the entire game of basketball. What makes him so special is his ability to always stay low, always change speeds while being deceptive. And what makes him so great is he's always attacking the defender's lead foot. If you watch him, he's not only selling his moves with his eyes, with his feet, but also with the ball. He has a quick tight handle, which gets him in and out of tight spaces. It really helps him come off pick and rolls. He's able to split. He's just such a hard guard because his ability to shoot the basketball from all over the floor is such a high mark. When he gets into the lane, he has all these high finishes. He can finish with either hand. He's pretty ambidextrous. Also, his ability to just put different English and touch unique parts of the backboard that we don't see a lot of guards touching. So let's get right into the action. With me today, I have one of the most exciting guards I know, overseas pro Jason Johnson. He's gonna be demonstrating all these moves for you guys. The first move I want you guys to do is we're gonna be attacking downhill like we have a little space, like we're coming down in transition. I want you guys to work on this cross jab. So whichever way we're crossing the ball, we're jabbing that opposite way, looking that way with our foot and our eyes. Okay, we're gonna then go to explode to the left and hit them with a killer crossover. We're gonna attack this right side, so imagine getting by the defender. Now we're attacking the help side. The help side's coming to scrape our shot off the glass. We get up off our left foot with our right hand, and now we're going up and under, finishing on the other side with the left. Okay, let's get right into it. Nice. Now we're gonna move on to a little pick and roll action. When you guard Kyrie Irving, man, he's so deadly from the outside. Guards cannot go under the screen. They have to go over and they have to chase him and try to push through. A lot of the times in the NBA, this leads to switches with the big man. And he's always trying to find ways to shift their hips, get them to stand up and then explode by for easy finishes. So right now, I want you guys to start at the top. Now, when we get into this, you're gonna see me set a screen for JJ. Um, so I want the ball away from the screen. If the screen is on my left side, I have the ball on my right side. And as you're coming down, we're just selling which way we're going every time we make a move. Boom, until we finally explode off this screen. So a lot of the times people like to come down and they just go straight off a screen. Okay, that's not helping you at all. Okay, what's gonna help you is changing your speeds and being deceptive, okay? So I want you right now, we're gonna go th uh, through behind and then wrap out of it. But every single time you make a move, you're gonna sell and you're gonna turn your shoulders in the direction of where the ball is moving, okay? This is gonna keep the defense on their heels, keep them off balance and keep them shifting. So when we finally do come off, we have a step on them. And now if we come off shoulder to shoulder, we're getting all the space that we need to get into the switch. Okay, so right now, ball's in my right hand. I'm going through, behind, and then I'm wrapping out of it. Now, imagine me coming off. I'm attacking this big. A lot of the times, bigs play off because if he's just right here guarding Kyrie, Kyrie's gonna take a back dribble to, to really draw him, and then he's gonna throw it at the rim to one of his extremely athletic 6'10", 7-foot bigs. So when he comes off, boom, that big is right there. So now what Kyrie does, he does a great job of slowing all the way down and getting into this hezzy, right? So he steps with his left, like he's getting into a shot. Boom, you see this back right foot really dragging. Boom, he stands him up and then he's pushing this ball out, finishing with his left hand. Kyrie loves finishing with his left hand. A lot of people, especially with right-handed players, they always force guys left and he takes full advantage of this, okay? So here we go. Gets into it, hard dribbles, boom, coming off. He slows all the way down, gets right by that defender. One, two, three, uh. Now we've gone over downhill attacks in the half court. We've gone over pick and roll situations. 
Kyrie gets a lot of his buckets in transition. He's always taking advantage of opportunities and the mismatches that he has. Okay, he's very efficient, very fluid, and he's not like a lot of guys. A lot of guys get to these simple moves, he kind of adds flair to it. His game is really simple, but he's perfected it, so he adds a little flair. So right now we're gonna come downhill, we're gonna make a move like we're getting by our initial guy, and then we're gonna step in front. We're gonna over-exaggerate and take this big step once we get by them, boom, to then keep them in jail. Now as we're approaching the second line of defense, we're gonna kind of slow down, and then we're gonna pound, step through, and then finish, okay? I want us really working on changing speed, so you're gonna see JJ, boom, attack his guy. He's gonna get around him. He's gonna attack full speed, and as he's approaching about the free throw line, he's gonna start to slow down, and then boom, really explode through that pound and step through, okay? Again, Kyrie, it doesn't matter if a guy's on his hip, if a guy's recovering, He's able to really stretch this ball out, finish wide. He's able to flip it up high before a defender comes. And he's able in air to switch hands. So we gotta be able to do all three. So here we go, JJ. Nice. Good. So now for this fourth one, we're gonna move back to pick and rolls, okay? Kyrie loves coming off pick and rolls. It creates all these different mismatches for him. And now he's downhill attacking the big. So you're gonna see this flat screen I set at the top. A flat screen is where you're at the top or even the wing, but you have your back instead of to the sideline like we do on sideline ball screens. Um, we're gonna have our back right there to the basket, okay? This makes it really hard to defend. You kind of just sell one way make a crossover and the guy is running right into the defense and imagine a defender running right into me. So let's say they switch. Now I just whip this leg around. He's behind me and now it's a, really a two on one. So if that, big, if that big goes with JJ right now or he goes with Kyrie, they play pretty similar. I get confused who's who. Um, if he's going with them, now I'm gonna be wide open sprinting down the middle or sprinting down the other side for a lob, for a dump off, for a dunk, for a layup, whatever, okay? If he doesn't, now JJ, Kyrie, they have the advantage coming off. That guy hasn't made a decision. They can get to a pull-up. They can get to a floater off one foot, off two foot. Um, or they can really slow down and now see if they can draw this defender and then hit them with the move and get by them. For right now, we are gonna come off and we're gonna do what we call a snake. So imagine a snake coming around a corner. Um, he's gonna stay close as possible to the wall, like we would the screen. And when he comes off, he's gonna leave no room. He's just gonna turn that corner and go the opposite way. So you're gonna see JJ, he's gonna attack me downhill, he's gonna come off, and then he's gonna cross over, boom, right at my back, so nobody can get through that. So now they have to switch. And then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see him hit that defender, that big man, with a hard in and out. He's gonna go one dribble push, and he's jumping off this first step. We see Kyrie do this a lot, where he's going same hand, same foot finishes, and beating these defenders to the jump. Because oftentimes, when we pick the ball up, guys are timing our feet, one, two, and trying to meet us at the glass. But if you're able to, off this first step, boom, get up, we are beating them to the jump as they're still in this running motion. And oftentimes, more often than not, we're gonna get these shots off. We're gonna get these finishes off way before they can ever recover. We're gonna catch them sleeping. Okay, so here we go right now. Nice. You see us using, incorporating our left hand so much. Kyrie does this to the point where you almost think that he's left-handed if you didn't know him. Okay, this is because he grew up modeling his game after Kobe, idolizing, watching Kobe, learning from him. So a lot of the moves he has are very similar. A lot of the footwork, a lot of the finishing, and you know Kobe was big on being ambidextrous. So now these last two that we have are gonna be straight out of Kobe's bag. 
So right now we're gonna pretend like we're coming off a handoff. You at home alone, you can just toss it to yourself. Pretend like you're coming to the ball. I want you to keep your back right now to the basket. Okay, when he comes off these handoffs a lot of the time, instead of using it, what he'll do is he'll feel his defender shading. Like he's trying to get through, he's trying to push through, he's leaning that way. So he'll come, he'll grab the ball, keep his back the entire time to the basket, and then he'll forward pivot with his right foot, okay? Now he's gonna end up going the opposite way of the screen. So if I'm coming up and I'm on this right side of the court and I'm coming to this handoff, boom, he's gonna grab it and he is churning and this first step he is taking, this very first step is boom, right by the defender. So even if the defender recovers and he plays great defense, his foot is stepping by. So now the defender automatically has to open up. He opens his gate. Now Kyrie controls the entire play, okay? Right now we're just gonna get to a one dribble pull up. He's so great out of his moves, getting to a one dribble pull up. So you guys at home, if you come up, you have no, maybe you have a chair, maybe you grab it from a chair, maybe you toss it to yourself. We're just gonna be here where we come and we're turning, boom, getting right to this one dribble pull up, okay? So I'm gonna be here as a screener, as a dribble handoff guy for JJ, and we're gonna see JJ do it. Here we go. Good, good big first step, nice. That's nice, perfect, boom. Good change of speed, good balance, perfect. This last thing that we're gonna do, okay? Straight out of Kobe's bag. You see Kyrie get to this. If you talk about Kyrie Irving, you have to talk about his ability to fade away, okay? He gets on the block, he actually posts up guards his size a lot of the time. He'll make a move, he'll see there's traffic, he'll slow down, he'll get his back to the basket, and then he'll get to all these different fades. So right now, I want you guys starting on the wing. We're just gonna kind of freestyle Work on your tight little handle. Um, get to like three or four moves. Then we're gonna attack baseline. And we're gonna get straight to it. We're gonna take two dribbles on the second one. Boom, the same foot. Okay, we're picking up and we're going one, two, and we're spinning away from the defense. So imagine I'm attacking baseline. This guy cuts me off. Now I'm spinning one, two. He's trying to recover and now I'm fading. Okay, when you guys fade away, you're not fading straight back. Because think, if I just came out of a spin, my momentum's going this way, so I wanna kinda keep going with my momentum at an angle where I'm going back, but I'm still going to my left. Okay, so we're gonna see JJ right here, get to three or four moves from the wing, freestyle like you're getting by someone, and then we're gonna get to that block, we're gonna spin out of it to a fade. That's all he needed. He needed some real defense. Let's go. Are you okay? You want me to do it? That boom. That concludes our how to of Ky Kyrie Irving's six ankle breaking moves. If you guys practice this, you work on all the details, you stay low, you focus on your change of speed and being deceptive, you're gonna be really hard to guard like Kyrie Irving is. If you guys like this video, do me a favor, give me a like, hit the subscription. Hey, any videos you wanna see, let me know. Just comment. We'll see you guys next time. All this dirt on my skin, I just came here to win.